Hi guys, today I have amazing Ping with me. She's been doing this raw vegan lifestyle for how many years? Uh, more than 13 years. More than 13 years. And yeah. you're originally from China? Uh, yeah, I was born in China, Canton, and then I was grow up in Hong Kong. Wow. And I moved to Australia um, 15 years ago, almost 16 years uh -huh. ago, and I, now I live in Melbourne. Beautiful. She's such a shiny oh, person, thank you, thank such you, a honey. sunshine <laughs> here, you know, running, hugging everybody. And I just can say that I was blown away to see how she's just just like teenager and <laughs> she wanted to learn a handstand and we've been doing handstands together. You're amazing. And, um, thank you. Would you be willing to share um, your age? Yeah, I'm 65 this year. Yeah, I'm so blessed. I'm so grateful. Yeah, do you want to look like this when you're 65? <laughs> so, um, uh, this is so beautiful that you're following this path and you've been so strong. You didn't have much support, right? No, mm. no. In my family, uh, I'm the only one who turned raw vegan, vegetarian, but uh, I got the support from my husband. Uh, yeah, wow. but my um, all my friends they they were not, mm -hmm. not living a, yeah, yeah. Not, like, not living a life like this. Yeah. So, what was your biggest challenge in the beginning of your uh, lifestyle? Yeah, the biggest challenge yes with family with family that that's a struggle. There's a quite a struggle because my th son, my only son, <laughs> thought that uh, my mom's been crazy. She's just gone mm. crazy. She, uh, she's uh, cooking us uh, brown rice for a period of time and he didn't like brown rice. <laughs> yeah. And now he's eating only fruit and vegetable. Yeah, yeah. And at that time, uh, uh, seeds and nuts and not eating rice at all. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. Uh, but I just change overnight and I never go back. I never. I love it, love it, love it. Wonderful. And what does your son think of raw food uh, lifestyle now? I, he, he's, he, he didn't understand it. He doesn't okay. understand it. But he can see that I'm very, very healthy and happy. Yeah. I, I think he can see it. Yeah. Because yeah. he asked me to babysit his daughter yeah. so <laughs> that yeah. mu he, he must trust me yes beautiful and um, uh, when you faced these challenges on, on, on your path what inspired you to continue um, I didn't know I, I I just love it and I feel mm -hmm. so happy I wasn't like this before I was yeah. very negative mm -hmm. and I always think the bad, uh, the worst thing. What if this happened? What if that happened? Yeah. But I just gradually, I, I didn't know about it. I didn't think like this anymore. The priority yeah. changes, just changes. Yeah. I just feel so easy and I feel so relaxed about things that yeah. I do care. I was so nervous about something that maybe somebody didn't listen to me or somebody uh, didn't think I'm important and say something not true about me. I was yeah. very, very angry and mm -hmm. anxious about that. Mm -hmm. But now I just, I just, just, She's I just don't feel anything yeah. about that. This, this doesn't bother me anything. I, I feel so happy from the heart, from exactly. my heart. Yeah. And I want to share it with people, with my family, if they want to. Yeah. She's one of the happiest people I've ever seen. Oh, thank so you, like thank you. Really. You do, you do. Thank You're you. just shining. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, did you have something that maybe happened with you or you went through on your journey that you were like would be scared to talk about or ashamed about? But now, after all these years, you're willing to share. Um, yeah, there, there, there are things that definitely happened to me, but I still haven't dealt with it. Um, but 
Yes, thank you for asking. This is a very, very deep question. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I never think of it that I would yeah. be asked like this. Yeah. Yes, I, when I was a little girl, I was sexually abused. Mm. I, never, I never shared it publicly. Oh. And I, um, that was not, not my very, but I, that's a, in a way that I, in a way that affect my relationship. Um, mm -hmm. I want to talk it with uh, specialists, but I yeah. should, I know I should have, but I yeah. never, never did that. Yeah. And, and I think this journey helps me to deal with it because I read all the books I can find and and search internet, YouTube or things like that and, and, and help me during with this. And I think now I can take it easy in, in a way that look at things in different angle yeah. and, and I grow from that. I'm yeah. not suffering from that trauma anymore. Yeah, but I think there's, there's still a lot to go with that. Yeah. You're amazingly brave to share it on a video. <laughs> And I have to tell you, it's just so important because there are so many women who went through that when they were little and they're just so ashamed to share, but we need to share these things so we feel like we're not alone with it. And we see beautiful people like you who are so happy and bubbly, although Thank you went you. through that. Yes, yes. And um, yeah. And there's another thing that I lost my first child, mm -hmm. and this one is is even bigger because it's a big hole in my heart. This mm -hmm. is I seldom talk about it, but with this lifestyle, it did help me great, great deal, great deal. Because yeah. I would be without it, I think I would be very depressed and mm -hmm. and miserable. But yeah. I stand up and I. Wow. And and I'm strong. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and and I love myself. Yes. And I d I, so I don't blame myself for that. Wow. Without guilt, um, I know that. Yeah. Don't don't ever take any guilt with yeah. you. Don't don't. Yes. Ever. Yes. Wow. You are totally amazing. Thank you I so much. I have no idea so you asked me such deep question. <laughs> but and it's so beautiful. You, you're probably helping to change somebody's life for the I better so. now because yeah. you know we go through all kinds of trauma and just to let you know that if you start eating more fresh fruits and vegetables or even go raw vegan it's definitely helping look at Bing she's <laughs> so yes. happy person. now what I want yeah. to do I want to do handstand. I practice handstand every day. Yeah. And thank you for helping me. <laughs> it's my pleasure. And, and I searched web everybody who, which one is doing handstand in a lovely, lovely way. And I'm doing that. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> wow. Thank you so much for sharing. And can you let um, our viewers know where they can find more of uh, you, you, your oh, videos okay. or maybe your Instagram or... Oh yeah, I, I'm in Instagram and Facebook, Chan Peng, C-H-A-N-P-E-I-N-G. And I even have a YouTube, but uh, I, it only, I only got a few films on YouTube. Okay. That's, I want to share the story of me and my mother. Yeah. So if you interesting, or somebody uh, suffered from stroke, my mother had a stroke and mm -hmm. she she lived with me and became a raw vegan when she was living with me. She's, wow. She was 84 when the time she had a stroke and she mm -hmm. became a raw vegan vegetarian with me for a year and a half and travel all around the world for fruit with oh. me. She's become very healthy Amazing. physically, physically. But she still have a confused mm. mind. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is an amazing story. I, I'm, I can't wait to go and look at it. So yeah, go and check out. We'll put uh, all this uh, here below uh, the channel and in the description below the link. So you can easily find it and watch. 
Thank you so thank much you, for thank sharing. You, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. You're such a beautiful thank human. You.